Uh, hello, viewers of this video, and welcome back to the Redstone Innovation Channel. Um, my voice might be a little different, I don't have my microphone with me right now, um, and my allergies are kicking in. Um, this uh, video today is about 12W27A and the updates it creates with pistons, um, which make them act a little bit differently. So right now I am in 1.2.5, and um, I'm just going to show you how each of these things will react um, just a whole bunch of different demonstrations and stuff so just have activating a normal piston well actually I should go through the changes that they added um, so in 12w27a uh, they made pistons slower by um, I think one game tick which is half of a redstone tick so they will act slower it will appear to act a little bit slower and uh, that will break um, some redstone devices um, eh, some uh, you cannot use a one tick signal to whoops stuck keys you cannot use a one tick signal to um, two pistons like this with a torch here whoops you cannot use a one tick signal to extend both of these pistons in uh, 1.3 like you can in 1.2.5 um, but yeah so just d things will be broken and this is all the testing I've done so far um, let's get let's get into it so just activating the piston in 1.2.5 with the note block animation as well it will be really hard to see a difference since it is only half of a redstone tick, so five hundredths of a second or so. Then you know this piston monostable. Hopefully, it goes off the idea that power will be sent through this block, and then after an amount of delay, the block will be pushed out here, giving this piston a one tick pulse. And this has been a classic design used for a long time. Um, then if you want to make these both one, then it won't do anything. So for the rest of the demonstrations, just going to put this one on two. So in 1.2.5, you can have uh, one piston action, then one tick later, have the next piston action like this. And just showing you that that works. It will, uh, this piston will push out like that and then now in let me turn down my settings now in uh, you can also always do two ticks between each action which is the most stable that's how one tick arrays are used Then finally, we have this interesting setup here. Uh, in 1.2.5 and all versions before it, um, you can push a piston, push a piston into a powered space uh, with a one tick pulse, and that piston won't be powered. It'll act like a bud. So this piston isn't powered, even though its space is powered. You can retract it like so, and then it'll be powered once you update it. Then I think I have one thing more. Oh yeah, so just um, block uh, uh, block updates with powered rail and stuff. That's uh, still instant, so you can power a block diagonally from a piston and update it with an update, and then you can just power the piston directly. And it works like that. So now I'm going to switch into 12w27a, and then we can go through all these uh, demonstrations once more. So I'm not sure how this recording will turn out because I normally record with Optifine and I cannot get that, obviously. But you can see I am in 12w27a uh, in the top left. And let's just turn down my render distance just in case. Okay. So, yep, cool new inventory. Kind of like it, although some things are fine, kind of hard to uh, find, like grapple, but that's not the point. So. Just activating a piston. It does act a little bit slower, um, if you notice. 
um, it's a little bit hard to notice unless you're actually flipping the lever and you're switching like directly back and forth but it is it does act a little bit slower than with the note block with the its animation uh, the animation does finish a little bit before this piston is activated um, unlike in 1.2.5 when this animation is done when this is done as well then this piston mono stable does not work because it gives a two tick signal to this piston and um, the reason is because this redstone moves faster than this uh, piston will activate so um, this piston will not activate in time to push this block out and give the signal a one tick pulse so what you have to do is change this repeater to 1 and in my testing this has been fairly stable well 100 percent stable um, I'm not sure if it will be um, but for now uh, this does work um, and it gives that a one tick signal like before so for the rest of the test I'm gonna run this on 1 and 1 there so now because pistons activate slower um, you cannot have one tick signal uh, between actions like this. Only this piston will push out because this redstone moves faster than this piston will activate. So it doesn't have time enough to push this block out and then retract and then power this piston again. So that will break quite a few things. Although um, all the redstone things that I'll be recording tutorials for will be working in the latest uh, with the latest piston timings so just keep that in mind uh, now of course you can do two ticks between uh, piston actions as per usual so we'll push that block out to the side like that then finally what's really weird is um, when you get, uh, push this piston push this piston with a one tick pulse it will be activated. It will update, which wasn't in the, it wasn't the case in 1.2.5, which is really odd. I'm not sure why. Um, one tick pulse should still um, not update the piston, and so this might also break some things that use this. I'm not sure if I've seen any that use this, but still, it's an interesting uh, little fact. And then finally. Um, updating pistons uh, using powered rail is still instant. So yeah, that um, just about does it for 12W27A. I'm, um, I think they changed the piston timings because uh, they wanted to fix sand duplicators, which um, I'm not sure if I understand. I, I don't really agree with it. Um, it's making um, it's making prototyping a lot harder. Um, random piston actions that shouldn't occur and random things that shouldn't happen just it's confusing um, it, it would be easier to make it in 1.2.5 than try to make it work in the latest snapshot rather than just make it in the latest snapshot because it's just so confusing uh, uh, well of course there's always the bugs that um, that occur in snapshots that, that is to be expected but yeah, so there's a, uh, the latest update on the snapshot. I might be doing more of these if they change uh, redstone stuff. Um, but yeah, uh, this is the Redstone Invasion channel. Hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, we thank you for watching.